Hello everyone. Hi. Well, welcome back to Chris and Scott's Colorado Adventures. It's the dining edition. Yes it is and I'm excited. Yes. Where are we tonight? We are at Woody Fisher's. Woody Fisher down here at 19, oops sorry, down here at 20th and Chestnut. Uh, kind of right across the street from Rocky. We're still. Yep. And uh, this is a restaurant connected to the Hilton down here. And it is in one of the oldest buildings in Lodo. Yep. It's an old volunteer fire department. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. So uh, we're going to go check it out. Yeah, I'm excited. Let's go. Okay. All right. So here we are. What do you think? I think it's really cute. Yeah, we're inside the main building here, the original building. And you can see the original, the original brick there. The ceiling there with the big glass roof, which is super cool. I bet that's really cool during the summer. Yeah, during the day. Yep. You can see that side of the building's all original. Obviously, they've made improvements. Um, yeah, added, on. added on. But, um, yeah, this was a firehouse. This the aesthetics. Was the first firehouse in downtown Denver. Yep, yep. Cool. Near Union Station, so it's one of the oldest buildings down here by Union Station. Um, it's really cool. The aesthetics are really awesome in here. Yeah, it was actually a volunteer firehouse, so it wasn't really a, like a full service firehouse. Like, yeah, like, firehouse number one that's over off of yeah. uh, Colfax. It's very chic in here. It's very. It is. And it feels good because it's looking around, there's only 10 tables that are being used right now. It feels very spacious and safe. Yeah, it's not, we're not jam packed by any means in here. It's comfortable right now, absolutely. Um, we ordered a drink, we're gonna get a special drink, and then uh, we ordered an appetizer, so we'll show you that when we get it. Yep, yep. And then we'll so, uh, get some dinner. Yep. But so far, pretty cool. So the restaurant is connected to the Hilton Garden Inn. So literally connected. Yeah, literally connected right to that. Yeah, pretty cool. Uh, food is like burgers, chicken wings, chicken steak. Uh, everything is kind of a la carte. Very reasonable, like 10 to $20. Yeah, you get a roasted chicken. It's pretty limited. It's not like there's a huge menu. But, uh, but you can get like noodles, you can get some a little bit of Asian food, a little bit of yep. American food, so some uh, yep. different choices. Very cool. I'm excited. My Dorado. Alright, we finally got our margarita. Yes, we did. This is the Fire Hose Spicy Margarita, which has Tante Jalapeno Tequila, Pineapple, Watermelon, and Lime. Yum. Alright. Is it spicy? It's spicy. Yeah. You can still taste, like, you can taste all the flavors. Really? You can taste the watermelon, you can taste the lime. Pineapple? It's got the spicy, but it has an also sweet flavor to it. Probably the pineapple. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's real good. Yeah? It's right on my alley. Taste it. Alright, what do you think? You can really smell the, the jalapeno. It's got a little burny burn. Yeah, you can sure taste the, the, Everything. the pineapple, the sweetness of it, and then there's a little bit of the burn. Oops. Jalapeno, oh, oh it's so jalapeno. good. I like it. That's good. Ooh, out my nose. <laughs> so, 
uh, real quick here, we ordered this and it took a while to get this drink. It did. Um, it's Friday night. It's Friday night. They're not real busy just because limited capacity. And for some reason it took a little bit longer to get this. I'm not sure why. We ordered one drink. Um, but when uh, our waitress uh, gave us a, a complimentary beer of wine so that's nice. card because it took so long. So. Yeah, that's cool. That is cool. I didn't have to do that, but I'll take it. I'll take it. An extra drink? Why not? <laughs> so we have gotten our first appetizer here. And this is the house made burrata, mm -hmm. which is green tomato jam with grilled bread. Jam. There's the burrata, the cheese. Oh, is that what that is? Yeah, it's cheese. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. And then the bread. Oh, yum. All right. It's exciting. Try it, try it, try it. All right, we'll get a little bit of the burrata. You know who turned me on to this burrata thing is Tara, my sister-in-law. I didn't really know what it was until she made it for me one night, and um, now I am addicted. Hey. Good. So good. Does it taste like anything else or is it specific to itself? Specific to itself. Yeah. The bread is so buttery and crunchy. Yeah. That's the tomato jam. Mm -hmm. It's so good. Yeah. Okay, so here's my grilled bread burrata and tomato jam. Let's see how this is. See your hesitancy. <laughs> Excuse me. Delicious. It's pretty good. The tomato jam has a little sweetness to it. But the cheese, isn't it so creamy and tasty? I don't know if it has a lot of flavor to it though. Maybe burrata doesn't. But I, I think it does. It's good. Yeah. I don't know if I'm blown away, but it's good. Okay. <laughs> you started on the fries. What? <laughs> Shoestring right. fries. Shoestring fries, so we got those. Yeah. And then we're sharing a burger. And this is the, let me get here, the Woody Fisher burger, which is Havarti cheese, smoked bacon, crispy onions, Worcester, aioli, and relish. Yeah. So we split it in two. This is my side. The <laughs> onions will be coming off my side. Oh, you're dumb. Nope. Um, so the we'll, crunchy onions. I don't care. They're still onions. Oh my god. All right. Let's uh, let's do some tape. We got this. You can see we got it medium. So it's got a little bit of pink in it. All right. You want to try yours? Yes. Flavorful. Really juicy. Really. Oh yeah. Whatever that aioli is. Oh yeah. Yeah, the waitress said that they have they're famous for their burgers here. Yeah. Oh super super delicious. Awesome. Yeah. Look what I'm All doing. Right. Look at me. Look at him bisecting his hamburger as always. Put them over here on mine. That's right. Extra onions for oh you. My gosh. French fried onions, so they're not even like onion onions. But they're onion onions. They're like French fries. But they're not. 
You're dumb. More for me. More for you. I don't know why you're complaining. You get more. I just wish you'd be more food adventurous. That's all. Okay. All right. Take a nice bite of that burger. Very juicy. The bun. I think that's a buttery on the bun. Yeah. Yeah, it's very good. Yeah. One of my favorites. I don't I feel like we don't even need to add ketchup, you don't need to add oh, anything no. extra to it. No. The way it comes, minus the onions. Yes. No. It's plenty. <laughs> yeah. Good burger. Okay, so we got another drink. It's happy sure hour. Did. It's the lavender ladder. And it is, real quick, man, you gotta wait. Oh. It is Henrix Gin Butterfly Pea Tea Lavender Ginger Beer and Lime. I so, like lavender. Yeah. Lavender's calming. Yes, it is. All right, now check it out. It smell good? It smells like lavender. Does it? Good. What's it taste like? It tastes like ginger beer. No. Yep. It tastes lime. Yeah. A lot of lime. The tea? Do you know what the tea is? I don't know what that is. If you and know what that is, put that in the comments below. Yeah, it's the butterfly P as in P E A T. So I don't know what that is. I don't know. And then you got gin in there. I'm gonna taste the gin. I like gin. Yeah. Gin is one of my favorites. I prefer gin over vodka. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So good. I guess you can try it. Wow. <laughs> Ooh. That's tasty. Isn't yeah. that good? Yeah, that's really good. You can really. That lavender is what I taste the most. And the, and the lime. But you can taste the ginger beer in there. Yeah. So that was our try down here at uh, Woody Case. Fishers. So we're down here at Woody Fishers. And what'd you think? I thought it was delicious. It was pretty tasty. It was like a bar, but a little more of an upscale bar. Yeah. Um, I agree. So I really enjoyed it. Some different tasty things. You know, we had mm. the the uh, the cheese and bread. Burrata. Burrata. Mm -hmm. That was delicious. The burger was pretty tasty. The fries were good. Those couple of drinks, mighty tasty. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I thought it was a, a good place down here. Yeah. So if you're coming down uh, right here, 20th and Chestnut, right across the street from the King Supers, and a couple blocks away from Coors Field. Uh, if you're coming down for a game later on when things get back to normal or uh, they got outdoor seating um, when that opens up as well and yeah oh, very fun. comfortable inside they had it very spaced out yep um, yeah I liked it I enjoyed it I did too so totally recommend this place um, it's a beautiful little firehouse building it's all original brick you can see it yep but they've converted they've opened up the roof and made the ceiling all glass so really cool pretty cool so if you're looking for uh, an old aesthetic building with a new flavor yes come that, check it out come check it out down here at 20th 20th and chestnut <laughs> yep if you guys haven't already you know what to do subscribe yep hit that uh, notification bell and hit that thumbs up button that really helps us out absolutely all right so that's it that's for Chris and Scott's Colorado Adventure, the dining edition. The dining edition. And we will see you next time. Bye.